Today I want to talk about coming out of rock bottom. It was about two years it took. So what got me to rock bottom? For the most part, it was, I think, being a part of something that didn't really fit the best. Um, there was a lot that played into it. Uh, there was, um, really, I had, we had Colson by surprise. That was a big change in my life. Um, I was making, I was struggling internally between being a, a a participant or a leader in a company versus being an owner. Um, I struggled with decisions that get made that I didn't have full control over. Um, I put more weight on my shoulders than I should have. Uh, definitely thought I controlled and impacted more than, than I truly did, which would have actually taken away a bunch of stress and anxiety. Um, and also, you know, I had some rental properties going on at the time. I had, you know, we had a lot of stuff going on. So either way, I hit rock bottom in February of 2021. And at that time I was an operations manager um, and, you know, really passionate about people, really passionate about uh, doing things my way, uh, the way I wanna do things, you can call that, um, you know, being stubborn, hard-headed, or just passionate. I'm going to call it passionate, selfishly. <laughs> um, but either way, uh, I crash, hit the bottom. Um, and today I talked, or yesterday I had lunch with a buddy and I kind of watched the whole thing. Um, so I stepped down from my role. I took an individual role at the company. And when I did that, um, it was so hard to walk into work. It was so hard to go there after being a leader, um, after being somebody who um, was involved with everything and then I kind of you know bottled up and went into a little corner and there was times that I could almost just barely crawl through the day barely get anything done and I would turn back to to my friend and say I'm just barely making it today uh, I don't know if I can keep going I don't know if I can keep making it so he got to witness and see me go through like crawling through glass in life uh, you know dragging my body through barbed wire and it doesn't matter if it's a joke or what I went through is nothing in someone's eyes. It was real to me and it was real pain and, and a real struggle for, for me. No matter how you want to compare it to anybody else's life, it was the worst time in my life to get through my own thoughts and what was going on in my head. So it was really great to talk and hear from his perspective yesterday because I guess I, you know, I didn't really step back and, and watch. So what, ha what happened then is I spent months um, struggling and trying to get back out of it, trying to get back to my old self. You know, I had 12 rental units. I was, you know, if you step back and looked, I had a lot to be very grateful for and thankful for, but it, it didn't feel that way. I walked around and looked at everything like I was losing it, like it was all going to go away. And so then... Um, you know, I grunt through, I go and buy another property, you know, because now I'm going to transition a lot of my energy from corporate America and my job, which is now just a job where I go to it and put in my eight to five. I don't love it. I'm not jazzed up anymore. And that's no, that's no hit to, to the company uh, or anything. This is a thing that I went through um, that had so many factors. You can't put a finger on why it happened. Um, there's tons of reasons and, and it doesn't matter. It happened. I'm through it. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I kind of switched into this um, employee mindset, eight to five, you know, do my time. And then I focused on myself and my work and my family and um, really had to focus on my family for a while just to get through it. So either way, I get back on my feet and now we're into September. So it takes two to three months to close on something, but we close on uh, a rental property in September and that's the first property I've bought it's two units and you know I start to get my 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 mojo back a little bit my confidence and and feeling like the world's coming back together for me and um, at that time we uh, we had we had had Colson uh, so he was already around we got adjusted to that that was a big adjustment and then really what happened after that, we had a, a, a training course at work, uh, which was about culture and all that. And it just was phenomenal. And it really put wind back into my sails because I started to question and believe, you know, everything that I thought was important and the way that I 
wanted to lead and the way that people had to lead to get things done. And I was questioning so much stuff that I had originally had no question on. I fully believed in it. And then um, what happened is this course came in and really just brought all that back to life. Um, really um, assured me that the way I thought and the way I wanted to do things um, was a very good approach. There's tons of different ways to do things, but it definitely solidified it and gave me the confidence to continue and or to continue to want to lead because I kind of just didn't even want to lead people. I just kind of went right down into, you know, just surviving. And so either way, that course, getting that first house bought, I ended up back to just crazy motivated, cruising, um, but I did have a different understanding of what depression and anxiety feels like. I had a different understanding of what um, what people go through, which I'm thankful for now, but boy, it was tough. My body did some silly things. I had a lot of health issues through that because I was just running myself through the ringer. Um, all things that didn't need to happen. I didn't need to do that to myself. So either way, fast forward, the next uh, property we bought was in March of 2022. Uh, that was a six unit property. Uh, and then the next property we bought was in April of, no, no, I'm sorry. In April of 2022, I actually left my company um, to be a partner at a different company, which was an opportunity that came out of nowhere. By that time, I was in a really good place. My head was in a good place at work. I enjoyed working. I love everybody I worked with. I wasn't looking to make a move, but opportunities come along and if it be, feels right and you want to go after it, you jump on it. So then I jumped on that opportunity. I took that. And then very shortly after that, um, closed on another three unit house in June. And then in August, we closed on a 14 unit complex. Uh, and that's all in 2022, all less than 12 months. We we bought 25 units of rental property. I originally had 12, that takes us to 37 units of rental property up to today's current. And what happened is, is I had this crazy mind shift where I was like, well, I want to build stability wealth for my family and I'm not gonna do it anymore through the corporate vehicle, or at least that's what I was telling myself. Um, so I was like, well, I'm gonna do it the way I know how to do it because I've been doing real estate for, at the time, 16 years uh, slowly, right? Only had 12 units. Um, but I knew it and I knew how to do it. And I said, well, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make myself even more self-sufficient um, and, and grow the way I know how to grow. And it's in my control. Uh, you know, I, I feel like I, I, I release control quite a bit, but I also have certain things that I just don't negotiate with or I don't, uh, don't bend the rules on. And so either way, um, it was crazy because my buddy, he, he explained all this in his perspective and he's like, it was crazy how the lights turned on and you just went and, uh, and he was just really happy for me because he had seen me love my job, love what I was doing. And then he saw me crash, hate what I was doing. And then he saw it all come back and it came back stronger, came back harder, came back more, more confident. And now that I've been down in that deep hole. Um, I can hedge and try to try to do the best I can to keep myself from going there ever again. But really cool story um, that I heard from someone else's perspective yesterday. So I wanted to do a video on it. And, you know, fast forward to right now, you know, now Kim's a stay at home mom, you know, going that hard at all that real estate and rental properties really afforded us the ability to um, to make the decision for her not to go get another job when she lost her job. So all really good stuff that happened um, for whatever reason uh, it was meant to be. And here we are. Uh, she gets to spend the next couple of years with our kids not working, uh, just really focus on our family, which is such a blessing. I'm so happy that we could be in that position. And I don't think I'd have been there. Well, I mean, I know for a fact we would not be where we are today if I didn't completely crash um, and have to get back out of that hole. And I want everybody to know that you can do that. You can, you can crash, you can get back up, you can be stronger, you can be better. Uh, don't let a slide backwards or something bad happen in your life define your life. And make sure that where you spend your time and you know how happy you are is how you measure life. Don't worry about your wallet.
Don't worry about how much money you're making. Uh, you, you have to get the bare necessities. You have to set your lifestyle the way you want it, but it's just one attribute to the big picture of what's important in life. So hope this helps somebody. Um, really cool. It was really great to hear uh, my story from someone else's perspective. So have a good day.